Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm your host, Michael B. And this is this is Moochel. Huh. And I'm gonna play this this is a deck submitted by Yabba Dabba 2, otherwise known as Phil Bell. And we're gonna be playing this uh this band spirits deck with collected company. And we got two botanical sanctums, two breeding I'm not gonna go over the lands. It's Bant Lands. You guys can look at the deck list in the description below. Also, Muscle and Wanderers times four, three Spectral Sailors. Mike is cleaning out his ear because he's dirty. Four Supreme Phantoms, four Rattle Chains, three Selfless Spirits, four Eagles, four Spell Quellers, four Teferi, three Oko, and four Collected Company. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Uh, I think we have three Clerics in the sideboard to get rid of them graveyards. Three Spirit of the Labyrinths to, to prevent them card draws. Three Eidolons to prevent them multiple spells. Three Hanged Executioners to exile creatures, I guess. And uh, three Deputies. So a nice 3-3-3-3-3 a nice three, 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 three split in the sideboard here. And let's get our... Oh, there's 61 cards in the main deck. Is that correct? I'm going to find out. <clears throat> That's interesting if there is. Oh, we got 7.30... No. No, there is a mistake. There is a mistake. There should be 23 lands. I have 24 lands. There should be two islands, two planes. I have three islands. Okay, perfect. We almost messed up real bad. Let's play Perfender. <clears throat> and he probably works for the Chicken Pretender place. Chicken Pretender? Mm-hmm. Pretender? Yeah. What the hell is that? You never heard of the Pretenders done quick? You said pretender, not pretender. Yeah. Can you not hear? Your ears broken? I think it's pretender. Pretender? Mm hmm. You said it was pretender. Who's to say anything, really? Well, I would hope you. What are you doing, man? I'm just adjusting the mic. Stop ruining your life. Never. I know you would say <laughs> never. You're so predictable. He'll never stop ruining his life. It's true. That's true. Golden Corral is definitely not fine. Yeah, um, so I have heard of a story of when some when someone went to a Golden Corral and they were getting they were trying to get mac and cheese and the kid in front of them was getting oh mac God. and cheese, but they just used their hand to scoop out the mac and cheese as opposed to the spoon that you're supposed to use it with. And then they were like, never going here again and I'm like, you know what? It's probably a good idea. Nothing you just told me is okay. <clears throat> it's all terrible. Also, the quality is pretty low. It's not great. Hey, Frank and Joseph, how many Trimbos so far today? Uh, four. Seven. Oh, I thought it was only four Trimbos. Maybe it was four. I could have miscounted. You probably did. I'm a mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Yeah. I'm a mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Can't blame the business for the ignorant jits that eat there. That will happen at any buffet. Well, yeah, but overall their quality's not great. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's not a great. It's not. <coughs> you might say it's low tier. Yeah! <coughs> I'm a mighty, mighty Mike and I'm young and I'm in my birds. Look at all these birds coming down. <coughs> Can you stop dying? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. I thought you wanted me to die. Yeah, I'd like you to die quieter, though. Can you die quieter? Um, yeah, I can try. Okay. No promises. Thank no. you! I appreciate it. Danny DB, what's going on, my dude? Oh, look at this 1-1 one, one hanger back walker. Hanger back walker. Hanger back walker. Walking by. Walking hangers. Gonna be bouncing. Pop it back to your hand. Another Teferi, huh? That's something. All right, well, we're getting in there. Skookwalk. I'm sorry, what? Skookwalk. It's the sound of the, the bird. It's What is it again? Skookwalk. Now, now it doubled? Now it's two squawks? Skookwalk? Yeah. Wow, man. This is wild. Skookwalk. Hmm. That's wild. <clears throat> That's just crazy, my dude. You're a maniac. 
You live on the wild side, Michael. What would you? What would be a good buffet than like a Chinese buffet? But because I am a, a licensed food manager, I see all the violations of the health codes. Well, I'm not big on Chinese buffets either. The only really buffets I would kind of go on are like maybe at a casino because they keep them really clean. Or at least it seems to be. How do you know? I guess I don't. Maybe they don't. You have no idea how clean they keep them, my dude. <clears throat> seems like Michael B. lives in a tree. Collected company. Uh, let's get Eagle and Phantom. Any order. Look at these fat birds. <laughs> fat Welcome to bird. Fat Birds. How can I help you? Welcome to Fat Birds, home of the fat bird. Danny DB, I'm also loving Jedi. It's a good game. Except for the parts where we get stuck. But even those are just lovable scamps. Just like Michael B., that lovable scamp. Sorry, money is the dirtiest thing around. Casinos are full of money, so I can't see their buffets being any better. I don't know. If you've actually been to like a, a high-end casino's buffet, they're like, they keep it super clean. Like, you can just tell. It's like going like, or like some place like Sweet Tomatoes, where you can tell that they keep, the, like, they're constantly cleaning. I'm young and I'm in my prime, Michael. Yeah. I'm a mighty, mighty man. This is 11 damage. Plus we got a, a lot. Plus we got a, at least get to chump block this stupid bird, but that's fine. So it's only actually 7 damage, but that's still a lot. Oh man, we oh they didn't even block with their reach protection from multicolor creature? Oh, well, that's, that's fascinating. I mean, our deck is basically unbeatable, so. Unbeatable, huh? Yeah. <coughs> Do you remember that time that uh, we had that those issues with the big balls in, in Fallen Order? Yep, there's no such thing as cleanliness and food service. It seems like an extreme opinion. Oh, you got reach too? Alright, we'll collect a company here. We'll coco in case we hit a, a spell queller. It's your boy and, and a fanty. I was in a business trip in town I'd never been to when they suggested we go to the buffet thing. It was going to be some local buffet place that seemed like a good option. Imagine my disappointment as we pull up to the Golden Corral. Dang. <clears throat> oh, look, I'm murdering somebody in the chat. Good for you, buddy. I'm really proud of you for getting your murder on. <laughs> I don't feel like Teferi is great here. I almost feel like Detention Deputy is better. That's the old detention deputy. <laughs> yeah, people in general are pretty disgusting. Like, when I go to work, like, almost, like, every other day, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll notice somebody that just doesn't wash their hands and they leave. Like, it's constant. Pretty sure it's you. Hey, man, I wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. Do you? I do, yeah. When you take a poop, do you wash your hands? Of course. I bet you don't. Thank you! you poop is like, especially dude. when you want to wash your hands. Oh, Kermit with the resub, my dude! Because of the poop in the air. Because of the poop in the air. Yeah. Wow. The poop particles in the air. Don't talk about your poop particles in the air, Michael. <laughs> <clears throat> not washing your hands is infinitely better than not flushing. Is that a thing? I hate... Is that a thing people do? Do people not flush? Disgusting! <clears throat> washing hands for plebs? <laughs> hmm. Not so sure. I'll often not flush after I pee, and I'll just let I'll I'll do a few pees before I flush, just to save water because like I don't need to flush after every pee. But oh, jo Josh, Atsy X Atsy, thank you, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, Josh. With the gifted subs, my dude, you are the hero we need. Thank you, but not the one we deserve. I think it's fine to do that at home, but you don't do that in public, obviously. Thank you! I don't, you're right. I flush in public. Thank you! Do 
Josh, I appreciate you, my dude. You are awesome. Thank you. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Yeah, oh, mighty, mighty man. The flusher is disgusting because no one can wash their hands before touching it directly after wiping the butts and taking a leak. Yeah, but you wash your hands after you touch it, so. <clears throat> Maybe you do. Are you saying you don't? Maybe you do. Hmm. All I'm saying is I'm a mighty, mighty man, and I'm young, and I'm in my prime, okay? Lies. You're being rude right now, Michael. If we can draw a collected company, I'm going to be like, that's pretty good. Kirby, you got a self-flushing toilet at home? That's fancy. Of course he does. <clears throat> How are you even going to ask that question? I should have paid one to play this other Mausoleum Wanderer, but whatever. I don't even care. Or paid two, rather. It opens its lid and see when you approach it. Good lord, man. It's funny because don't you rent? <clears throat> boogie, boogie, boogie. Did you see me play that boogie, boogie, man? No, I bought my place. Okay. Oh, really? <clears throat> and never, ever freaking use the woman's bathroom in my life. I've done a lot of janitorial work, and the woman's room is a million times worse than the men's. Well, I generally tend to use the men's bathroom because I'm uh, of the men variety. I'm of the men variety. Michael B. 2019. I'm of the men variety. Do I care about this guy? Probably. They have one card in hand. I think they're dead. Michael, did you end up having yourself a merry little Christmas? It's not Christmas yet, Frank. But did you have one? No, because it hasn't happened yet. But did you? Michael, from now on, your troubles will be out of sight. Will they? No, you're still going to... You'll, you know, you'll be good. <clears throat> Alright, so that, well, that, was a, that, that match was easy. I have no idea what to change here because... Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay. I was like, why did that... Let's try against Baby Hands 25. I don't see anything to change yet. Because good we... old Baby Hands. Time is a flat circle. Um, I don't like it. I like it. What are you doing, man? Why are you? Why are you so fucking weird? Why are you so not weird? Because that's when is Vintage Cube next Wednesday, my dude. I tune in and Mike is just living his life. God, you ain't kidding. <clears throat> his worst life. How dare you. Oh, we pretended Yooko was Reflector Mage. That seems good. That's so weird that's like, well, instead of Okos, what if they were just Reflector Mages? Uh, it's not Vintage Masters, it's Modern Horizons, I believe. Oh, it is Vintage Masters. Doesn't the home screen say 
Mo it says Modern Horizons. Drafts now available in the play lobby. <laughs> but really, it's Vintage Masters. Okay. Huh. Solid. <clears throat> well, I guess we're just going to play old snoochie boochies. How are you finding Pioneer, by the way? Do you feel like it's going to sustain its popularity or, and, or just crash and burn like Frontier and Tiny Leaders? Uh, yep. fr neither Frontier and Tiny Leaders had any Wizards of the Coast support. They were all unauthorized formats that people just made, so I don't know how they could have not crashed and burned when you don't have any official sanctioned events or Wizards backing support. Uh, I don't feel like front, uh, Pioneer is going to be anything like those formats because they're already uh, cultivating a band... Mm. Um. Yeah, I'll just block it. I don't care. You can get more shit in the graveyard. They're already cultivating a ban list, having pioneer challenges and PTQs. So I'm not. So I'm just not. Like, there's basically no. There's no way that it's not going to be a real thing. Five, yeah. <coughs> Where'd you say we're going to dinner? The Sizzler? The Sizzler. You know, I don't think there's any Sizzlers in Florida. There used to be. I mean, look it up. We'll go to the Sizzler. Okay. We'll have a good old time. There's one in Seattle. We can go to that one. I remember we went. S -s 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 I was like, after I went there, I was like, this is okay. Did we go there? I don't even remember going there. Yeah, we went there once at least. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Oh, oh. I do remember that. It was ter I thought it was terrible. Yeah, it was not great. It was. I thought it was okay. Just generally okay. Okay. It was also a day I worked a bunch of overtime. Was super tired, like drunk tired. We have seven damage here. It's pretty good. So are we just going to get a new format every ten years that cuts out old cards that are now too expensive? Maybe. Well, I don't think it's cutting out any cards that are too expensive. I don't think it's like a, an expensive issue. It's just a matter of it's a matter of sustaining. Like it's modern was a format that let new that bridged the gap between like legacy and standard, and it was a good way for players to use their older cards. But now that's not true. Now modern has become a, a format like legacy, where unless you were like an early adopter, you're basically it's just too hard to to get into. I guess the format. I don't think it's the cards that are too expensive. The format has just become a little bit hard to keep up with. Uh, if you're trying to get into something that lets you use your old standard cards. I used to eat at Sizzler in Tokyo just to get the salad bar. Yeah, that's the only reason to go really is a salad bar. I think that's the reason why we went because we wanted a place with a salad bar. I love salad like bars. Oh, I hit one spell caller. How convenient. Well, I guess that's all you need. And then we deal, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You're at 13. I guess if we draw... Oh, now you're at 11, so it's I have lethal on board. Ba -boom, ba -boom, boom, 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 Frank and Mike, if you could... Could one reprint card to standard, pioneer, and modern, what would it be? One reprint for those formats? Shoot, I don't know. Hmm. Force of Will. Baby hands, 25... Soul Ring, wow. Going hard. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you got it. But do 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 Oh no, the fetches have no, the fetches. The price of the fetches have nothing to do with the, why they ban them. They actually said why they ban them. It's because uh, it gives you too easy access to 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 mana, and they wanted to have the decks a little more diverse than they did in modern. And that makes total sense. It has nothing to do with price. In fact, it's they even mentioned that they wanted diversity among among staple lands. Uh, but I didn't believe them. Well, I mean that's up to you. But I, I I think it's I think their their argument for having diversity like modern is a fetch land format. Uh, or modern's a uh, modern's yeah modern's a fetch land format. Legacy is a dual land format, and they wanted pioneer to be a shock land format, which I mean makes total sense. Yeah. Also, pioneer would almost feel like too much like modern. If yeah, it would just be modern light if you could play 
if you can play fetch lands like and also like fetch lands make fixing your color so easy that like you can just play whatever colors you want with no punishment right <clears throat> yeah wizards has never banned a card because of price <laughs> I mean, if that was the case, like, Oko would be banned. Snapcaster Mage would have been banned. Like, Liliana of the Veil, Tarmogoyf, Jace the Mind Sculptor would all be banned because of price. Like, Yeah, there's just no evidence that, that Pioneer has anything to do with price. I'm going to play Fetches and Pine... Wow. That's aggressive. Can you be quiet, please? No. Can you stop yelling? People want the entertainment, Frank. What entertainment? All of it. What all of it? Just all of it. What are you saying right now? Go back to your garbage can. Maybe I will. Goodbye. I'm not gonna. Okay. Okay, off to a meeting. Well, see you later. I mean, I don't think Secret Layer is going to allow them to barge into the secondary market any more than, like, the previous Planeswalker packs did. Hey, could be good. Uh, I'm some dip and dan zip and dip and do do. Come on, Remorseful Cleric. <clears throat> do your, do your deed. Do your duty. Do your remorseful duty. Michael, stop talking about duty. Another question I've had since I've been going gone is why 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 does wizards flat out ban cards rather than say errata them? Because you can't errata cards. It's it's incredibly obnoxious in paper and you can't expect new players to know the new wording of a card. Yeah. It's um, really difficult. It's really hard to keep track of like, oh a card doesn't actually do this, it does something different when you're playing it. So it's easier to just get rid of that card altogether. Yeah, you can only really do that in digital card games. It's just a, it's just a very clumsy, non-elegant way of, of doing it, and it's and it's really hard to keep track of. And when you're designing card games and paper, uh, tracking things is one of the one of the things you want to minimize the most. You want you want to have people have to keep track of the least amount of changes. Yeah, original impulse was only errated because uh, it, it, that was 25 years ago. And also because it was, like, just printed incorrectly. It's not like... It told you to put the cards on the bottom and then shuffle your library. It told you to do two different things. That's the only reason why it was errated. Because it was literally just printed printed incorrectly. And all the newer printings have always told you not to shuffle. You got it. Yeah, like, mistake or is fine, because you're actually just trying to get the card to work as intended. Whereas, like, if you change the functional, like, the functionality of a card, like, that's kind of completely different. But Hosteer didn't get errata. Like, it was just, it was just a, it, they just forgot to put a line on there. It's not an errata in the sense that, like, you're not functionally changing the card. You're not saying this card didn't, we didn't, we don't like the way it does this, so we're going to make it do something else.
but it could never it was never meant to exile itself like that's the whole point there was never a combo with hostage taker that was like oh dang like they just printed it wrong it's not like it was like it's not like they intended it to be able to exile itself and then they're like oh wait this is a broken combo let's let's make sure they can't do that you know that was never the case it was just a technical mistake it's not a it's not a fu it's not a functional mistake on the card where they're like oh no it doesn't work it's it's too good the way it is we have to lower the power level Errata is more like cards that say X damage target player being updated to X damage. Right. That's just, yeah, just, they just changed the Oracle text, you know, like that's basically just, they're trying to, they're trying to, it's like the spirit of the law versus the word of the law. You know what I mean? Like it, it, that's what you guys are arguing right now. Like, But da 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 bum 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 bum. No, don't do that bullshit. Come at me, Broski. I'll block all your stupid morons. I've got a land that I don't have to take damage from. Michael B. Living in the trees, Michael B. Michael B. Michael living in the trees. Scared of his knees. Michael B. You okay? What, yeah, man. What's the scared of his knees line? Just all of it. Oh, that's too bad. Just every piece of it. Michael Sleaze touching his knees. He Michael believes Sleaze touching his knees. He believes he's got a disease. <laughs> what do we got? Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on board. Man, this remorseful cleric's just like, hey, my dudes. I guess we'll play this guy first so we can pump our, our wandery. What happened to the prototype, Mike A? Wow. Wow, that's a, that's something right there. I wonder what they are. Does it say? That's funny. All right, we won that game. Man, this, this deck is great. I feel like Reflector Mage might be better than Tefri, but like, I don't actually know. I can see like a 2 2 split. The prototype Mike A wouldn't get in his garbage can up by the up in the tree by the sea. That's true. That's true. Wow. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are there any other spirits in the format that I should look at? Are you fine? Because I feel like you're never fine. I feel like your whole life is just one big garbage fire. Well, you know. What? At least you can keep warm by the garbage fire. Can you? Yeah. Hmm. Put their hands and go. Well, I guess you got that. At least there's that. 
I'm looking up my baby spirit sees on my Really, you gonna bring it home the baby bumblebees? You didn't like you don't like bringing the baby bumblebees? You know That's what you just said. I did say that, and you're right. I feel bad about it after the fact, but you'll never you'll never catch me. Why is that? Exactly. Is it because you're the gingerbread man? Gingerbread? Yeah. What's a gingerbread? You, you never had some tasty Don't ask me if I've ever had it. Just tell me what it is. It's gingerbread. What is that? It's bread with ginger in it. What's ginger? He ginger, you ginger, we all ginger. That's you know. not the answer to the question. That's literally you just a, you, you, you're, you're like an old man with dementia. It's actually more of a SpongeBob meme, but... Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yes. He wombo, she wombo. But why? Well, the science of wombology. Wow. Why are you like this? Is it? Mike drunk again? God, every day, my dude. Oh, Crash Code is just actually a moron, so... <laughs> it's like, I wasn't sure. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but I think they're just actually an actual moron. <laughs> oh, that's... Good times, good times. I was like, maybe he's making a meme, but then I was like, nope, he's just being a weirdo. Oh, you're just actually a friggin' creepy weirdo. Cool. Um, Wasn't there... Wasn't there, there was like a... I feel like there are more spirits than this. I want to look up the. It doesn't have to be a type spirit. Let's look up text spirit. Oh, you gotta ban him. You didn't actually. Wow, dude. No, you. <laughs> oh, like a literal four year old response. Holy shit, that's amazing. I can't imagine being like having that little to do with my fucking life that I go into people's chats and say stuff like that. Like it never even crosses my mind. That's the thing. Like it never crosses my mind to wake up. It's not funny. It's but it's not only not funny, but like you have to be such a loser to like go into other people's chats and get enjoyment out of that. Right. Like isn't that the weirdest shit ever? It is really weird. It's but super there, weird, dude. Plenty, there's people that like to do that, though. I don't understand it. Like, you're not a troll because you're not funny. And right. You're, you're not, not really irritating. No one's, that's like, laughing with weird. you. They're just kind of looking at you. You're like the weirdo that's, like, everyone's like, well, that guy's probably no fun or to like, be around at, like, at any point in I'm time. I'm so random. Lol, K random, guys. <laughs> like, you're like that guy, basically. But you're not. You're not. Your meta base belongs though. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. There was, oh God, there was a freaking card I was thinking of, and now I can't remember what it was. Wait, is Ugin a spirit? No, he makes spirits, though. Wait, what? Wait, what? The six mana one makes two, two spirits. Well, then why is the eight mana one there, though? Because he's the spirit dragon. Oh, because he's got spirit in the name. Gotcha. I agree with Lance completely. It's sad because they probably have issues that we don't know about, but they try to handle them in such a way that we can't really have them. All right, like, I can, not, I can neither help you nor keep you around. So it's like, well, see you later. Good luck on your problems, I guess. I hope other people find you funnier than, than no one here does. I seriously, like, I, I, I was just thinking of a card and I forgot what it was. Thank you. Oh my god, Siri. Wow. No thanks. What <laughs> Wow, Josh gifted them. Can't have a mod without a sub. Wow. Man. I think most of Lance's have subs have been gifted subs, but he's he's a, he's such a great dude. 
Lance, I met Lance in Utah when I went to Utah and he bought us lunch and it was pretty sweet. Michael, what was the card I was thinking of? Can you just tell me? Uh, you were probably thinking of Cruel Ultimatum. God, I'm always thinking of Cruel Ultimatum. Cruel Ultimatum. Was it a spirit? It was something that interacted with spirits favorably, I think. What did it do? I feel like we can always have fav favorable wins in this deck, too. But that might be overkill. Oh, we had a subject the other day that asked if I could bring a, a doctor over as he wanted to argue with him. How about that go well? We actually, like, okay, I don't think we're playing six mana Ugin because we already have, like, we only have 23 lands and four collected company already, so I don't think we need a six mana creature in the deck. I actually have no idea. Coast to coast to Chicago. Dark Skull Captain for the Hexproof and Buff. Oh, yeah, that dude's not legal. <laughs> there ain't no Drog Skull Captain, otherwise, we'd probably just play Lingering Souls, too. That's a good point. Oh, the Ghost of Mike B's dad. Oh, you were saying replace the Okos with uh, with Reflector Mage, not, not the. Uh... Interesting. I would say two. We can take out one Oko, one Tefri, I think. Which I think is actually a little more versatile. Oh! Oh, I just remembered what I wanted. Is she even a... Does she make spirits? She makes a bird, doesn't she? Yeah, I think she makes a bird. Moo Yanling. Four, four, blue elemental bird creature with flying. I don't know if that's any good, though. Eh, well, it'll get the buff from the flying one. Yeah, it's only 50%. 50, 50, 50%. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. Ho! Remember that Remember that show, Michael? Were you, too, were you too young for thundercats? No, I remember the thundercats. No, you probably don't remember it. It's fine. They were around. Were they? Yeah. We used to play on Toonami. That's probably true, yeah. What's the holdup? Which one? The old one or the remake that came a few years ago? Oh, I'm saying the old one. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Would a one of Crassus be dumb? I don't think it would be dumb. I think it would just be hard to really cast. Like, for any value. And again, the same guy who didn't want me as a phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. Pro probably saying that wrong. With five years' experience to take the blood and wanted a nurse to do it, so I grabbed the newly qualified nurse who take was still in training blood. to take the blood. Got him. Probably missed the ner nerve a bunch of time. Not the nerve, the. The n vein. N n n nerve? No one wants to play Pioneer with us. Because they know they're going to get riggedy, riggedy, riggedy wrecked. Is that why? Yeah, I think so. Is that, is that why? Maybe. Is it? Shut up, man. You know what, Michael? I'm glad your dad left. <laughs> Are you? Hope he never comes back. He probably won't. I don't think he is. You know why? Because you suck, that's why. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the reason. Oh, the sickest of burns. Does anyone have any band-aids for Michael? I don't need them. I like to bleed out. Wow. Hello, my Michael. Hello, my Michael. Michael, Michael B. He lives under the sea. That is just Michael B. La -da 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 Michael B all day. Can someone just jump in this pioneer queue and face us? I'm trying to beat I'm trying to play some spirits. Some spurts.
You know what I mean, Michael? Oh, dad needs caffeine. Well, maybe if dad woke up earlier than 3.29 when we have to stream at 3.30, you could have gotten some. I woke up at 3.15. Oh, wow. Congratulations. You live a successful and, and productive life. I, I just wonder how you've gotten this old without without having any disciplinary habits whatsoever. You have like the least discipline of any human being I've ever met in my life. That might be true. Yeah, it's rough. I feel like I feel like you almost should have joined the military at some point. I wouldn't survive. Right, but that would actually make you survive. Man, this is a it's a long queue here, guys. Quick, while I run, get some donuts and coffee. He's he's working up to it. He's probably gonna do it. I feel like second. by the time I got back, maybe someone would join the queue. Uh, maybe, or no one would, and then we'd still be sitting here. <laughs> Why don't you try leaving and joining another queue? I don't know if that works. I I know I mean I know that doesn't work. That's ridiculous. But you know what? Okay. Wait, did it pop? No. Okay, Pioneer Q. Why are there two of them? Oh, that's like the old one? Doesn't make any sense. Look, I did it again. What are you doing with your hand right now? I'm trying to make him join. Is it working? No. That's too bad. Hello, my muggle, 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 it is Michael B. He lives up in the trees. That is just Michael B. Welcome. Hey, we did it. We did it. Um. Someone wants to feel the pain. I was born in the pain. You merely adopted the pain. I'll adopt your mom. You'll adopt my mom? Yeah. I don't think you're in a position to adopt anyone, buddy. Sure I am. I didn't say I'd gonna be a good parent. I just said I'd adopt them. Yeah, they don't allow you to do that. You can't... You don't know that. I do, actually. You don't know. Oh, I'm going to syncopate your supreme phantom. Oh, I have to pay a blue mana instead. I only paid two white. Oh, okay. There you go. I countered your spell. <laughs> you got it, chief. Happy birthday, Michael B. Happy birthday, myself. Guys, can we get some big fat happy birthdays to Michael B in the chat today? It's Michael birthday. Oh wow, Teferi resolved. I did not expect that. It is Mike's birthday, my dude. Well, this technically is this isn't a casual queue. This is actually just a two player queue, which is not necessarily casual by nature. This is actually just Wow, that's messed up. I mean you have to put up play points so what decks have I played so far Danny how do you mean because I played like 30 different pioneer decks 30 that's crazy you should be a pioneer expert I am I don't know you don't seem like it you don't seem like you're smart, so... I guess we all have our crosses to bear, Michael. Never said I was. I agree with you. It's 
Isn't it amazing how it's always Mike's birthday and yet he's never learned proper life skills? It is. It is. Oh, dear God. The hell? Oh, Supreme Verdict. I didn't recognize the art. That's a one for one, my dudes. It is one for one's day, my dudes. I'm going to go to the Wawa and get myself a cherry biscuit. A cherry biscuit. Mm. What the hell is a cherry biscuit? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. Also, you could collect your company and hit something and give them buffs. Yeah, I'd much rather not play into another Supreme Verdict. They won't have another one, man. Come on. That's oh, crazy. Oh, well. <laughs> Hello, my Michael. Hello, my Michael. The worst thing is Mike did not learn decent mustache skills. You can't control that, man. You can definitely control how you groom yourself. That's 100% false. Well, no, I can't like I can't affect that my mustache doesn't get much thicker than this. I don't think it has to do with. He's not talking about the thickness. Thunair, can you can you specify what you're referring to? Actually, the spell quality might just be better anyway. Still like a chef from Little Mermaid, legit stash. <laughs> On the That's very sea. specific. <laughs> it was very specific. Michael's much better when he Michael under the sea. So what I was referring to is because sometimes Mike's mustache gets overgrown and it kind of hangs over, and the reason for that is because Mike told me he only only grooms his facial hair at the like the barber does it right right yeah so you don't actually do any facial hair grooming on your own outside no. of when you get a haircut not unless something crazy happens like there's like a weird hair up here or something <laughs> that's just that's just crazy for me because like i mean i go once a month so so you you only you only have anything to do with your facial hair once a month yeah I don't think you know how crazy that sounds. Why is that crazy? Because that's most people shave weekly. Like a lot of people shave every day. Well, those are people who try to be clean shaven, though. Or people who have very fast growing beards. I have a fast growing beard. Wow, another another supreme verdict, huh? When your stash is chewable, it's too long. It's that's true. Point. It's true. Check it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm feel, checking it. Feel these. Let me feel these little hairy boys. I don't think it's too long yet. Yet. Michael B is a cranberry man. A cranberry man. What does that mean? Right, like I, I'm not trying to be clean shaven because I have a beard, but like I do trim my my neck here, and like the sides up here, you know, because otherwise you're just gonna look like a mope. Wow. And plus, like if I don't actually like trim my own beard with a with a with a a trimmer, like it's just gonna look like shit, and I'm gonna have these like hairs hanging. Up. I'm like having a Fu Manchu. You gonna bounce my eagle? My beard grows really slow, though. It's a cool story, bro. Thanks, bro. It might, you might say it's the best of stories. You don't want to be a Fu Manchu? You don't become a Fu Manchu. Sure you do. No. It happens once every millennia. Mm, no. The legend of the Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. Mm-hmm. Michael. I wouldn't say my beard's out of control, right? I would say you're out of control. I would say this whole courtroom is out of control. I 
I wait for it to get too itchy, then shave off completely. I never want to go without a beard. I look like a freaking baby without a beard. A baby without a beard. I legit look like I'm nine years old without facial hair. Looks real weird, in my opinion. So I guess we're just both playing, uh, just both playing some, some Hearthstone here. Why is that? I don't actually want to bounce this guy. Yeah, that'd be weird. Actually, maybe I do. Oh, no, because then they get their cast out back. I'll just draw the card. Oh, that could be good once we kill this Teferi. Man, this is a facial hair conversation for sure. Did I tell my daughter is going to be born in February? Oh, dude, that's awesome, dude. Lance, congrats, buddy. Having a babe. That's crazy. Oh, God, they're just going to... Supreme verdict number three, huh? Oh, that fat bastard. That's interesting. I'm sure you could look better if you did upkeep, but you pull it off better than most would at once a month. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Chickens and schmickens. Schmickens? What's a schmickin? Exactly. You ever had a schmickin burger? Every Tuesday I do. Every Tuesday? Yeah, I have a standing, standing schmickin chicken arrangement. It's weird because I've never... Never seen you eat a schmickin burger. It's not your business. I guess it's not. Eat it early in the morning. For I breakfast. eat it every day, bro. Every day. Wow. Every every day. Shut I eat up and take my money. What is that? That's like the longest. Oh my god, dude. She's. I have a feeling this is Danny, but I really can't see it on the thing, so I'm gonna have to open this. Good lord, dude. It was. My favorite standard deck in Pioneer times was the Teamer Ascendancy combo deck. Can you please update the deck for Pioneer, please? <laughs> Bonus points if you count the number of times he said please and Pioneer in the sentence. Dang, I can't do anything about that. Uh, combo is Teamer Ascendancy plus Voyaging Seder plus Nykthos plus Teamer Sabertooth and at least seven green pips. Good lord, Danny. Good lord. That is a pretty ridiculous request, but I'll see what we can do. For this one, I make no promises. Yeah, no, we ain't having that nonsense. Can't be countered. I'm not countering it. I'm going to steal it. Oh, that still works? Yeah, it doesn't say counter anywhere on this card. Okay. You schmickle. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I was just making sure you didn't get an oopsie. A little oopsie doopsie. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna kill them here. Thank you. Under the sea, Billy. What's going on, dude? Thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, my man. Oh, they dead. They are dead. The stack's been doing good so they far. They have died. Reflector Mage can go. That guy's trash in this matchup. Spirit of the Labyrinth seems pretty okay. Uh, yeah, not terrible. I mean, it's a 3-1. It, it beats. It does the beatus, my dudes. It does the beatus? Yeah. Huh. Don't you know about the beatus in your life? Don't you know about the beatus in your life? Yeah. Is that a favorite Pioneer deck so far? I actually don't. I actually have no idea. I've played a bunch of different decks, and I have no idea. Yes, it's me. I'm sorry. Danny, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. We can get through this together. Don't you know about the beatus in your life? 
That was the song Michael sang, by the way, the beat us in your life. I'm taking two to play this spectral sailor. What would you do with a spectral sailor early in the morning? Yeah, she can pay you, bro. I don't care. You can sink whatever you want. If you'd play it on your turn, you wouldn't get syncopate. Wow, you're so smart. But then they would still have a syncopate in hand. Get him. 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 Even get him. worse. A sensor. Oh, now this guy just gets to resolve, though. What are we having for dinner, man? You forget? Typical. Do what now? Do what now? I actually hate when people say that for real. But you did say it. So what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Are you done? No. You will I'll be. never be done. You'll never be done. Never ever. Oh, well, that's my worst nightmare. Is it? You never being done? Oh, yeah. Big tip. May they come back. You can kill the tap. Furry, blessed thing, you have four cards in your hand. It's Michael B. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Thank you. Ah, this card's miserable. Monkey knife fight. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Varisa of City. I guess we'll just hard cast a spell queller. Thank you. Mr. J Nasty, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. The blue red and sold deck so far, but now I need to find some other cards to replace the copters. Yeah. Well, anyone who's investing in smuggler copters, not to say you did, but anyone who's investing in smuggler's copters in this format. Not the mo not the best foresight. If you know what I mean. Not the best Aaron foresight. You know what I'm saying? No, repeat it for me. Okay, so Okay. Absorb, eh? Let's see how many counter spells he got. Not enough. Okay, well, got rid of that guy, and that was the important part. I use this cool service lets you rank cards, perhaps you've heard of it. Oh, Mana Traders, eh? Wow. You know, Mana Traders is a great service that lets you rent either uh, physical paper cards or digital magic online cards. It's a great way to test out these sweet Pioneer decks without having to uh, invest in cards that may get banned. So if you guys wanted to use ManaTraders.com, you'll get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below in my description. So definitely check that out. Another Teferi. Another Teferi. Hmm. Well, butter my biscuits. I'd rather not. I said butter them. Put the butter on the biscuits. Sir, put the butter on the biscuits and no one gets hurt. But someone did get hurt. The biscuit man got hurt. Did he? And the biscuit man was my daddy. The biscuit man was my father. Do they run physical cards again? They stop for all? I'm not sure if they've re... I, oh, we won that game, too. Are we undefeated right now? We beat Dredge. So. We beat the other blue... We did the blue-eyed control deck, and we beat... Wow, this deck is unbeatable. I don't know why 
I don't know how we how we lose, really. You okay? Hmm? You need to go to the Wawa, man? At some point. You need to go to Starbucks? At some point. You need to go to the Chicken Tender restaurant? Chicken Tender restaurant? No, I think I'm good on that. You say that now. Wait till you have those delicious, sexy chicken tenders. <laughs> I'm just going to keep running into the queues if, as long, so long as, like... Running into the queues... Running into the life. Running into the life? Running into... Don't run into that knife. This is the longest, most painful friendship I've ever been in. Butter them damn biscuits, Mike B. Wow. We've been waiting for you. Where the Michael B's are, hers and hers and his, it's Michael B too. <laughs> All the lists. Um, I guess we can just pop out of rattle chains. <coughs> no, rattle chains has uses in hand. Are you gonna? Oh, you're just gonna cycle. Oh, I guess we're playing against Nexus of Fate. Is that a card they play? Will someone please think of the biscuits? Did they miss their? Huh. Excellent. Keep up spell caller. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Stop saying boogie, boogie, boogie. I can't. I'm playing a spirits deck. I have to scare people, Michael. Boogie, boogie, boogie. You have to scare them. Is that your job? You got scared. I didn't. You did. You were like, oh, and I was like, yeah, that's right. It's weird because we're recording all this and that didn't happen. It might have, though. I don't think so. But it did. Michael, we both saw it happen. You don't have to pretend like... No one saw it happen. I watched it. You didn't. Boogie, 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 boogie. What are you doing? You like a cyclonic riff something? Okay. Boogie, 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 boogie. Don't even act like you don't like the boogies. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe I do like the boogies. But you know you like them. All right. One again. Let's bring an Eidolon of Rhetoric. One spell a turn, my dude. Selfless Spirit can go, go, go. Go, go, go. Reflector Mage can also get the GTF out of here. Probably being in Spirit of the Labyrinth. Maybe. They probably draw some cards. Mike gets Spirit of them spurts. How's the Oko Queller interaction? Um, it should be good because you don't actually, because they're two separate abilities. Oh, like if you make your Spirit a 3-3, then they don't get their card back? Yeah. Them. Yeah. Because it never, it's not a, it's not a delayed trigger like something like Deputy of Detention. Gonna need a white mana. Uh, I've never even cast or drawn the castle, so... I could not say. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna be Michael B. It's Michael B. Well, I could really use a white source here. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Thoughts and prayers for a white source, guys. Got you. I 
feel gotten. That's not, not only is that not a white source, it's not even a land. Brutally toodles. Did you know in VMA drafts right now you can open the OG Art Lotus for three? What? Oh, that might be worth playing some Vintage Masters. Are they not Phantom? Huh. I mean, the odds seem low, but I might have to do one just for the fun of it. There we go. You can get there. Yeah, I'm going to concede here because we can't... Uh... Never going to give you up. Why is the Phoenix deck not a Tier 1 Pioneer? I don't know. Figure it There's out. There's not enough uh, cheap spells for it. Are cheap spells like chicken spells? Yes. Cheap, 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 cheap. Cheap, cheap. I am. The walrus. Yeah. Goo 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 joob. I'm gonna play first. Do you like that idea? Seems okay. Sand seems great. You don't seem great though. That's okay. I'm not the hand. Touche. TG. Arg. I'm a pirate man. Oh, I thought that came into play untapped. Womp womp. That is unfortunate. We'll just play a Spectral Sailor into Eagle next turn. Give him the old Eagle Eye. What is... No. How about the old Razzle Dazzle? You want to give him that? Yeah. Gave your mom the old Razzle Dazzle last night. Did you really? Yeah. Holy shit, that's insane. Did she enjoy it? I think so. Oh, that's pretty sick, dude. Good for you. They're going to opt in response because they're going to get real panicked. Okay. You got it. Can you explain the razzle and the dazzle, Michael? Well, first you give the razzle, then you give the dazzle. It's not really explaining it. That's just kind of telling you what you did, which is... It would be inappropriate, I can't say. Okay. What did they name? Oh. I don't know what they named. They named Wilderness Reclamation. Did they hit one? I guess so. Seem a good spoke color, spoke color, spoke color, Hinterland Harbor. Three, four, five, six, seven, put you to ten. Kill you next turn if you don't have anything. Mike, can you razzle my dazzle? No, no, I can't. Just say no. So now they have six mana at the end of the turn to work with. Looks like they did not work with it. Hey, look, we drew the castle. Oh. Well, they don't have Cyclonic Rift mana. Might as well uh, 
12 you. Four mana. Three mana. Five mana. Aether spouts. Epic. Oh, okay. That seems worse than just cycling. Uh, you can't... That's... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. That worked out well for us. So you just use two cards to draw exactly one card? Yeah, that was... <laughs> that's... That was something right there. And you don't get to draw from that because of the same reason. <laughs> Is he like over there confused? Like, why, won't, why can't I draw a card? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do, I guess. That'll do. He's like, you know what? Forget it. Was that 4 0? This is 4 0 so far, I believe. Dang. Papa do preach. Yeah, 3.352, 4 Yeah, 4 0. Woo! 2 0. 2 0. Two, oh, have we even lost a... Oh, we just lost a game right there. That was the first game we lost. Hey, Mike, I heard it was your birthday. I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's from... Uh, that's from... Uh, b -b 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 Bill and Ted, right? No. No. I look like Napoleon from a distance. I have no idea what this is. I've seen this. What is this? You haven't seen shit. Half of it. Because he thinks he's, like, slow. Well, I think you're slow, so I guess we're... It's all coming together, well, Michael. I think you're slow. I'm going to say like this. Uh... What did you say to me? Euro trip. <laughs> okay. God, man. That was amazing when they're like... They could have just cycled the Hieroglyphic Elimination to draw the same number of cards for one mana. And then they just cycled the sensor afterwards, and I was like, like... whoa. Wait, oops. let's slow down. Let's hold our horses. All right, I'm gonna go one more because I don't really know what I can do to to improve this deck. Hopefully, against an aggressive other kind of deck. See how we face against that. Why don't you shut the hell up? Why don't you shut the hell up? You ever think about that, buddy? I've thought about it. I declined. Oh well. I'm checking my telephone. Maybe my mommy has messaged me. No, this might be my car. I gotta go. You gotta go? Well, no, I gotta take a phone. All right, see you later, man. White land, white land, white land, white land, white land, white land, white land. That's not a white, but it does. Let us play. I'll go next turn. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, I built my car. Go go talk to my daddy and my mommies and my cars. The all right, well, yep, that's pretty good. That's good against Oko. White land, white land, white land, white land. Give me that white land. Come on, white mana. I need white mana. White mana here would be so good, dude. Is that Mike's girlfriend calling? Yeah, maybe. She's probably pregnant again. <gasps> oh, my biscuits. My huckleberry friend.
What is this scrambled good boy? Kerwood, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to sponsor me to draft the Vintage Masters until I get full power, buddy, I am on board. Really, this is your play? You know what? I'll do it. How much is each draft? Twenty-five tickets. <laughs> each draft is a whopping twenty-five tickets. So you got to break out your Microsoft checkbook, my dudes. Ooh, collected company. I don't even know if I like Oko in this deck. He's done nothing so far. Can we steal some of Jabro's tickets? Um, I don't know actually. Maybe. My Huckleberry friend. What is this Planeswalker you're playing? Chandra, four mana? Okay, so we might as well collected company here because if we hit a spell queller, it's insane. And we can also hit a rattle change that would give like this guy. Um, poof, it's rough. Counter instant or sorcery. Well, that is unfortunate. So we're hoping for rattle chains, two spirits, two. Uh, so they're gonna kill spell queller and then take the eagle, right? Yep, that's pretty fucking bad. I'm taking the eagle. Taking the eagle. Oh, they're taking the rat. Why would you take the rattle chains instead of the Imperium? I don't understand why they keep taking the rattle chains. And I guess because I can cast spirits at instant speed, but like. That doesn't seem as good. <sighs> so it's an easy hit here. Tefri can bounce the heart of Kieran, which is probably pretty relevant. Because otherwise they could crew with Chandra. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, little Shandy. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that. That's fine. Draw your card. I'll get you. I'll kill you in one turn. Y'all ready for this? This is great because they get to untap two lands, but they can't cast anything because of our Tefri, so. God dang it, this is white. Alright, white, blue. We got it. We figured it out. So 
So this is seven damage to the face. We're just gonna have to kill the Teferi though. Yeah, I don't want them to have Teferi on board next turn. Whenever I load Twitch, the default image is you staring back at Mike being in disbelief and or disappointment. And if that isn't an accurate representation of the stream, I don't know what is. Wow. That does seem accurate. I mean, we're just hoping they don't have um, Supreme Verdict. Supreme Will. Supreme Verdict? Supreme Verdict. They can't even crew that guy, right? So this is three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can just collect a company or hope we hit something and they can't actually cast any spells. Uh, Phantom. Phantom. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> How much is that? Oh, Lord. What is this? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17? That's pretty good. Deputy, not terrible against their guys. Eidolon, don't care about that. Spirit of the Labyrinth. Oh, Dave, what's going on, my dude? Hey, how did it go? I uh, was just discussing getting the car tomorrow and stuff. So. Who was? My stepfather. there. What did he want? He just wanted to know, like, he wanted me to be over to their house by one tomorrow and go pick up the car. That's all. What did he want, Michael? I just told you. What's on your face? Did on you take face? a nap? No. What, do you think I took a nap? There's like a line on your face. It's probably from the phone, I guess. Really? How hard are you pressing it? I don't know. Look, right there. You see that line? Well, your finger's over it. It's right here. Not really. Are you serious? You can't see this line. Right on your face. Not in the camera, no. I'm looking at it in the camera. This line right here, my dude. Right above my finger. There's a... Hmm. Everyone can see it but you. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, Reflector Mage is out. Deputy's in. Submit. I was just curious how hard you had to be pressing your phone against your face in that three seconds to like... Thank you! Did you take a two minute nap? Is the same deck? Yeah, this is the same deck. Are you going for this, the old 6-rounder, the 6 -o? No, this is round 5. We're, what's wrong with you, man? Rare Chemex, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Love the Pioneer content. Can be an awesome to tell Mike the chat loves it. Michael, the chat loves you. They love you, man. I know. They get that weird line on your head, man. Well, I guess I just live with a weird line on my head now. It's I guess just, that's a new jawbone I got. That's a new jawbone? Yeah. Is that, the new, is that your favorite band, jawbone? Yeah, jawbone. <laughs> Wait, weren't you playing against a... Oh my god. I'm so confused. He always does this. I'm so confused. Sometimes he has his, his dementia acts up, so he leaves the stream, and he's like, oh, I have to go make a call, or I gotta call my dad, or something, whatever. Like, But it's really just because he's like he's losing his faculties. So when he gets back, he, he tries to play it off, but sometimes it's really hard for him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought we were playing against something else. I don't know what's going on, man. I hate you. You know what I hate? Turtles.
Man, I want some barbecue. Let's go get some barbecue. From where? Let's go to Mission Barbecue. You want to go that far? I don't, but I will. It's much better than Sunny's. And it doesn't make me feel like I'm dying afterwards. At Sunny's, they're going to make you feel good. But they never do. They never do make you feel good, they? Do make they? you feel good for the first five minutes, and then while like 15 it's happening, minutes into the meal, I'm like, oh no. I've made a terrible mistake. Deck and Stone, I think, is trash. Wow. Any more Star Wars coming? Yeah, it's every. it goes up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Probably do some tonight, boy. I'll do some tonight. Do they serve Sunny D at Sunny's? No. No. That'd be hilarious if they did. You just get this huge jug of Sunny D. Michael B. He'll burn your throat. Why do you keep playing this card? I'm gonna I'm gonna spell quell this. And I'm gonna Oko the spell queller. And then they never get it back. I might wrath you though. Okay. Oko. Okay. And we still have an Oko on board though, so I guess it's not that bad. Michael, let me tell you something about Oko. Okay. He no Joko. Oh. Bonking and bonking and bonk bonk bonking. Mike seems so sweet, IRL, that maybe y'all that know him already have diabetes. That was a sentence. Oh, wow, they definitely clarioned my board. That's a Look at that beautiful eagle. Beautiful eagle flying so pretty. I got a beautiful eagle. His name is Michael B. You like this song that I'm writing for you, my dude? It's pretty good. Thank you. Ranting Bob, who couldn't sub to this channel? Look at that beautiful beer. Look at it. And mine's not too bad either. See what I did he there? played it again. God, I knew he would. Again. Do it again. Oh, look, a free Shandy. That's pretty good. No, it sucks. Oh, that's pretty good. No, it sucks. Yeah, pretty good. You suck. <gasps> What's wrong with you? Got him. Who did you get? You. Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, no. 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 Why are you like this again? Is there Why aren't you like this? Cause I can't make how you love me if you don't. I can't make a Michael B feel. Something. Okay, so I think we're just getting rid of fires here. Uh, if they kill the deputy, they still get their guy back because this is all one ability that puts a delayed trigger on the stack. Something I don't. Destroy the child. How come this isn't a token artifact creature elk spirit? Because it's just an elk. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. I'm tempted to just play this, but it's kind of scary. Oh, you heard of what? You're literally not saying any words whatsoever. What? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm scared of another deafening clarion. You can just pass. I'm going to. You don't even have any other spirits or flyers.
adding two, huh? Okay. You got it, my dude. Three. Deafening Clarion. Four. I don't know what's happening right now. Second Chandra. Gideon Ally of Zendikar. Five. Supreme Verdict. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? That's why we didn't want to play that eagle. I don't think anyone should care about owning proxies in Commander. Mike B, how do you feel about running proxies in Commander if you already own the card? Same question if you don't own the card. I think proxies are fine in Commander because it's a casual format. Now, if you're playing in some kind of crazy Commander tournament or, like, there's money on the line or something, then you should probably not have proxies. That's what I think, too, Michael But it was just cash. B. I think it's fine. Oh, that's interesting. Although I would prefer high-quality proxies to so actually know what's going on. Well, that is unfortunate. How do you feel about proxies in poker, Mike B? I don't even know what that means. Decks of cards are literally like a couple dollars. What does that have to do with anything? Because you don't need fake cards, you just buy a regular poker deck. Maybe you don't. Look how fat this Oko is right now. It's, it's pretty fat, hands. but he knows so good against Elspeth. Is anything good against Elspeth? Hero's Downfall. Well, that's pretty good, I guess, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> they could just have nothing in hand, you know? Stormbreath Dragon is pretty good. Yep. They're doing very good right now. Deafening Clarion is a hell of a drug. Yep, that's going to do it. Let's go to game three. Is this going to be our first loss? Don't say it. I already said it. It's too late. Ch -ch 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 Chia p -p 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 Pets. What you know about them? Ch -ch -ch Chia Pets. I, I don't know anything about them. I know nothing about Chia Pets. You know what they are? Never even heard of it. Well, see, it's a little, it's a little clay figurine that you grow plants out of, and it makes them have hair. It makes them have hair. So, like, let's say if you had a a chia pet of your mom, then it would grow her hair. It would grow my mom's hair. Yeah.
a Knight of Autumn or two in the sideboard would be decent. Yeah, that actually could be pretty good. I do like Knight of Autumn. What are you doing, man? You didn't take Played your 12, 12 cents. cents. Unbelievable. I'm going to bring in this 1-4 spirit because it uh, blocks... Not blocks, but it gets rid of... It shuts off their fires. Like, fires lets them cast two spells a turn. Like, Eidolon makes them cast one spell a turn. I'll play first for sure, my dude. Frank's mom is bald, Mike. Why would you say such a thing? Oh, my apologies. It's fucked up that you're talking about my bald mom, Michael. How can you talk about another man's bald mother? <laughs> is that like a bald eagle? Yeah, it's like a bald eagle, only it's a human being, Michael, with feelings. You insensitive fuck. <laughs> You put your left foot in and then you put your left foot out. Fascinating. I can't believe you talked to my bald mom. <laughs> Can we spoke while you're ready? Are you ready for the spell squad? Yeah, well, it's not. Could be next turn, though. It won't be. But it could be. You heard it here first, folks. The American Bald Eagle doesn't have feelings. Guess meat's back on the menu, boys. Wow. Wow. Sprout Koala. You think Eagle would be gamey? I mean, it depends on if he was ever taught to play any games. Oh my God. People are only gamey if they... If they play games, you know? Like, if your parents never taught you to play any games, then you're probably not going to be very gamey, you know? Your dad joke is really, it's not great. Are any of them great? Dad jokes, sometimes. Which ones? The kind that are, I, I don't know, you know what, I don't, I don't fucking know. That's problematic. It's an old fashioned to ferry off. Just an old fashioned to very off. Gonna play this collected company. Burn, 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 burn. I guess, fingers crossed, they don't have a supreme verdict here. And they always... Oh, no, it's going to be definitely Clarion. Oh, it just fires into a Supreme Verdict. That's even better. <sighs> yeah, that card's very good against this. It's really annoying. I mean, Teferi would be better because then we could have instant speed collected company and exile the Deafening Clarion and then still had two guys on board. But the fact that they have Teferi is pretty annoying. Just running out my collected companies is.
Actually, Spectral Guy might have even been better there. I don't know. This probably is losing this. What are you doing over here? You just burping it in the silence? You just blowing in the mic? I didn't burp. You didn't go. Poof. I may have gone, poof, but I didn't burp. Mm, okay. Want a spice of your life in more than an ultimate cheesy garlic steak sub? Throw a sub to your favorite Twitch streamer, Frank and his friendly sidekick, Moochel. Eat fresh and subscribe fresh. <laughs> I feel like you're underpaid. Yeah. All right. Well. We're just done. If we try to draw a card, we're just going to lose to Narset. All right, 4-1. Not too bad. I could definitely see adding some copies of... I actually like uh, Night of Autumn better than Deputy. I don't think Deputy is great. Deputy gets on my nerves. It's not a spirit. And sometimes you just want to get rid of artifacts or enchantments for good. Honestly, Oko wasn't... It didn't really thrill me. I feel like it barely did anything. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't think it is, but maybe. Look what you did, you little jerk. Oh, yeah. Blame me for your mistake. Mm -hmm. I don't think Castle Vantress was that good either, but just because we're never in a position where we're ever going to tap out for it. So I'm wondering if, like, creature lands like Lumbering Falls would be better. Try to. Also, Mutavolt is a spirit. You failed. You failed horribly. Muta you failed not once, but twice. Mutavolt is a spirit, so I could see putting, like, a couple of Mutavolts in here. Why would you ever play Goose, though? Like, Goose doesn't make any sense in this deck, because you have to skew your mana base so heavily to have white on turn one. I mean green. Yeah, I also like Detentions feel better than Deputy as well, but I also think Knight of Autumn might be better. Yeah, green, green on turn one, like... I also don't see what Goose does for this deck at all, but I don't think you. I really don't think you need a faster collected company. You have so many creatures to play beforehand. David, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't know. I think the deck is good. I I wonder what to put in for the last two cards though. I could see like putting in two Jermokus commands in the main deck. I think your biggest concern with the deck... Actually, I'd probably play a 4 Selvosphere because one of your biggest concerns is Wrath Effects. Yeah. So. Maybe one of Drogo's Command. Hmm. One of seems weird. I'd probably just want to maximize the number of creatures we had off Collective Company because there were several times where we just whiffed almost. I think I would just play a third Reflector Mage. I think this is actually fine. Like, I think the deck seems good. I would almost be tempted to play a Mutavolt or two because, like, I think you can get away with it. And plus, if you have, like, Supreme Phantoms, they are spirits. But. Doesn't work for the flying part, though. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, it seems greedy. I don't know. You are playing three colors. Maybe a Lumbering Falls. Hmm. Do you really need to be green for like? I mean, like, there's no reason. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't. There's no reason not to be. I mean, all your there's. We had like basically no man issues whatsoever, and like splashing a couple green lands for collected company just doesn't harm you. You have a lot of flexibility with the mana base. But yeah, I would probably just play it like this. I don't think Castle Rancher is necessary, but I also don't think it's hurting anything. And um, yeah, I don't know. Deck was sweet. We went four one. Uh, only lost to uh, Mono Wrath of Gods. So. Yeah. 
Danny, thank you so much for letting me play this. Uh, no, Phil, Phil Bell, thank you so much for letting me play this, buddy. Sorry, Danny was the one who submitted the ridiculousness during the stream. But Phil, thank you so much for uh, for for sharing this with me. I'm actually, I think it's pretty good, and uh, I would definitely want to make sure we can deal with supreme verdicts and deafening clarions, and that's probably the biggest concern. But um, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. You can also check me out at patreoncom slash Lepore if you want to donate one or two dollars a month, which is a great way to support the channel outside of subscribing, and it's super cheap, so it's a great way to help me out. You get to help the content out, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>